next question is based on secant inverse of sin square x that is secant inverse of sin square x is well defined if option a x belongs to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 option b x belongs to r option c x belongs to 2n plus 1 times pi by 2 for n belonging to i option d none of this It's a very simple question, anybody can answer this, but there is something very important information that is to be conveyed to you, that's why I have taken this problem. Sin square x, what is the maximum value of sin square x? Maximum value of sin square x is 1, but secant inverse of x is defined only if x is greater than or equal to 1 and x is or x is less than or equal to minus 1. Secant inverse of a is defined only if a is greater than or equal to 1 or a is less than or equal to minus 1. Here, less than or equal to will not, less than or equal to minus 1 will never come into picture here. Sin square of x can never become less than or equal to 1 because sin square of x least value itself is 0. Therefore, x sin square of x is equal to 1 is the only possibility. That is possible only when x is equal to pi by 2 or odd pi by 2. Let that odd be a positive or negative, it is immaterial here. The reason is, even if it is sin of minus pi by 2, you will get this as sin square of 1, sin square of minus pi by 2 as plus 1. Secant inverse of plus 1 you will get. And therefore, secant inverse of this is defined, sin square x is defined only if x is equal to pi by 2 r 3 pi by 2, r 5 pi by 2, r 7 pi by 2 or even if it is defined for minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2 and minus 5 pi by 2 and minus 7 pi by 2 and so on. Therefore, x belongs to odd multiples of pi by 2, option c is correct for this. Let us take up next problem. Summation i is equal to 1 to 2n, cos inverse of xi is equal to 0. Then summation i is equal to 1 to 2i. Summation i is equal to 1 to 2n, xi is option a n, option b 2n, option c n into n plus 1 by 2, option d none of this. Before solving this problem, you must know one basic thing about cos inverse function. The least value of cos inverse of x is 0 and it is always positive, no doubt upper limit is pi, but the cos inverse of x is always positive. Whatever you are adding, it will never become 0 if it is more than 1. So here you have cos inverse of x i equated to 0, that means to say cos inverse of x1 plus cos inverse of x2 plus cos inverse of x3 plus cos inverse of x4 up to cos inverse of x suffix 2n is equated to 0 means each and every term should be 0 that is observe here cos inverse of x1 plus cos inverse of x2 plus cos inverse of x3 up to cos inverse of x of x suffix 2n is equated to 0 means each and every term should be 0 because all of them are positive. Sum of n distinct numbers which are positive is equal to 0 means all n distinct numbers must be positive, must be equal to 0. Sum of n distinct positive numbers is equal to 0 means each and every positive distinct number should be equal to 0. Fine, coming to that, cos inverse of x1 is 0 cos inverse of x2 is 0, cos inverse of x3 is 0, cos inverse of x suffix 2n is 0. 
दट मीन्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री अप टू एक्स ऑफ टू एन आल ऑफ देम शुड बी ईक्वल टू वन एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री ऑल ऑफ देम शुड बी इक्वल टू वन बिकॉज कास इनवर्स ऑफ वन जीरो कास इनवर्स ऑफ वन जीरो एंड सो ऑन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दट बेटर इफ आई ड्रॉ यू द ग्राफ एंड एक्सप्लेन लुक एट दिस दिस पॉइंट इज वन कम जीरो कास इनवर्स ऑफ वन इज जीरो स्टूडेंट्स डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज कास इनवर्स ऑफ जीरो इज फाइव बाई टू कास इनवर्स ऑफ वन इज जीरो सो कास इनवर्स ऑफ वन इज जीरो देर फोर दिस इज वन दिस इज वन दिस इज वन एंड ईच एंड एवरी टर्म ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू वन नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज समेशन समेशन आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू टू इन एक्स आई आई थिंक आई कैन डायरेक्टली रिप्लेस दट वर्ड एक्स आई बाई वन सो आई कैन डायरेक्टली राइट दिस एज समेशन आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू टू इन वन वॉट इज समेशन आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू टू आई वन टू टू एन वन समेशन आई इज इक्वल टू समेशन आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू टू एन वन ईज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू टू एन ईज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू टू एन देर फोर दट इज इक्वल टू टू एन देर फोर ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट Let us take up a problem which is based on the derivation type. That is, prove that type. Here you have got a problem as x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square. What is tan inverse of x y divided by z r plus tan inverse of y z divided by x r plus tan inverse of x z divided by y r? Option A pi, option B pi by two, option C zero, and option D none of these. so this problem can be solved using standard methods let me give you the shortcut here the shortcut is very simple let x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to 1 then what will be r square x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to 1 means r square is equal to 3 therefore r is equal to root 3 then this will be tan inverse of xy divided by zr will be tan inverse of 1 into 1 divided by 1 into root 3 that is tan inverse of 1 by root 3 i need not have to explain these two they must be tan inverse of 1 by root 3 so we will get tan inverse of 1 by root 3 plus tan inverse of 1 by root 3 plus tan inverse of 1 by 3 root 3 that is equal to 3 times tan inverse of 1 by root 3 that is 3 times pi by 6 that is equal to pi by 2 therefore option b is correct chips proudly announces admissions for crash course for je mains and cet coaching classes commence after second puc and 12th board exams crash course for second puc regular classes commence after first puc and 11th board exams accommodation assistance provided for outstation candidates centers at kumta dandeli and bangalore